guys, um, as you might have saw in previous videos, I've done a video on um, how to run on a period. Uh, this video is about foods that might help cramping on a period. So, um, I went back on the, um, the wellness care um, blog on the internet and there's nine foods and that can possibly, sorry, I've got a bit little, little bit lump in the thing. Nine foods um, that could help with period cramps. So it's um, dark chocolate, peanut butter, eggs, leafy greens. Well, leafy greens is a substantial kind of, yeah, leafy greens. So uh, ginger, pineapple, bananas, salmon and water so um i do drink a lot of water i love salmon bananas i'm not keen on but i can eat them in different things um pineapple i don't like ginger just ginger biscuits count leafy greens i don't mind eggs i absolutely love peanut butter i have to be in the mood and dark chocolate i can devour so, um, I'm now going to read out, because I had to write it all down, because you know me, I can't, can't do anything without having a good old read, so. Right, so, um, dark chocolate, um, I looked up on the blog, and, uh, they said, uh, on the dark chocolate one, um, that there's no excuse now for craving chocolate, you can have chocolate now. Okay. <laughs> Too much light. Okay. Um, so, we'll go back to this. <laughs> right, so... I've got an old train thought now. Yeah, so dark chocolate, they reckon you've got no excuse now to indulge in a bit of dark chocolate. Um... Dark chocolate does satisfy a sweet tooth, and if you ladies know like me, I'm always craving chocolate. Mind you, I usually go for milk chocolate instead of dark chocolate, but I do like dark chocolate. Um, it also says during your period that dark chocolate has is high in potassium, which can help muscle function, and ideally for when um, those cramps come along as well so uh i wish i had overdosed on dark chocolate the other day i must admit the uh the cramping was um a bit intense i was laid up with it so um and then we go on to peanut butter and now i know for a fact peanut butter can um Pro, uh, well, prolong, I won't say prevent, I'll say prolong um, hunger cravings. Um, they reckon a, tables, a tablespoon of um, peanut butter can help your, your sugar craving. Um, and uh, it's all filled with um, protein and healthy fats and fibres. Um, it says plus um, peanut butter is full of vitamins which will help cramping and inflammatory. That is interesting. I didn't know that. I didn't know peanut butter um, was ki kind of helped with... Um, in Are you quite finished? They can't see you, babe. <laughs> anyway, moving on again. I didn't know the peanut butter was good for um for an inflamed inside stomach but i did know that it was made of healthy fats proteins and i know if you had a tablespoon uh for breakfast um that might help your sugar cravings um eggs um where the scrambled sunny side up i don't think it matter how you have eggs it's great for fighting PMS. Vitamin D is in it. Um, 
B6 is in there, E is in there. Got all the vitamins and minerals you need for helping to with um, cramping. So um, that's another one. Then we've got leafy greens. Well, leafy greens, I would say, is one of the most, I would say, knowledgeable of. Forgive the hair, the hair's a bit messy today. I've done a 15K, so please do forgive my hair. Um, leafy greens, um, there's no better time to start eating healthy. So, um, while on a period. Uh, leafy green vegetables like kale or broccoli are packed with calcium. Um which can help relieve muscle tension and cramping. So, um, I don't eat much leafy greens, but when I do eat it, I eat it with vengeance. Um, I prefer rocket. I like rocket. But now that I've heard about kale, I have tried kale and uh, didn't enjoy it much. Broccoli I love in a roast. So, yeah. So maybe we can work something out there. Right, so now we go on to ginger. Now, um, I know there's many, many ways you can take ginger. Um, you can drink it. Um, ginger can kill two birds with one stone, they say here. Um, it, it helps with inflammation and pain that's associated with periods. Um, I also do know that if you're feeling a bit sick, um, and I've heard this often, and I think it helps pregnant women as well. Um, ginger, if you're feeling sick or anything like that, can settle your stomach. So, um, ginger is a quite good, um, uh, source of painkillers and anti-sickness and stuff like that. It's a natural, natural one. And if I could, <laughs> if I could carry a sort of like period bag i'd love to have a sort of like ginger something to eat or a drink or something and drink that with my femnex that i take and my two paracetamol that i take so um yeah then i'm gonna move on to pineapple so pineapple's got magnesium copper Vitamin C, B1, B6. Um, the the um, vitamins in pineapple can help um, relax muscles, um, making a great solution for combating menstrual cramps. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Some of these things I know and some of these things I don't. But I didn't know that. But I'm not a great lover of pineapple so if I have to have pineapple you'd have to hide it because I I don't eat pineapple now bananas this ties in a little bit with chocolate dark chocolate because I know dark chocolate uh, I know bananas again is um, high in potassium so um but bananas um, might be the answer to calming down the menstrual cramps. Again, packed with potassium, it says here, and helps prevent muscle pain and um, fights that bloating feeling. It's a win-win in our eyes. So, um, so I I can eat a banana when I'm in the mood to eat a banana. If I don't want to eat a banana, that's when I started making my banana and oat pancakes or maybe a banana smoothie or a shake or something like that um, to get my bananas in because um, I don't really like bananas. However, however, it is amazing what you can do with food to make them taste better when you don't like them. Um, what was it? There's a certain food I didn't like. And, um, hubby 
done something to this piece of food that I don't like. Excuse my husband, he's on a major DIY kick at the moment. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, he done something with the food that I don't like. Started eating it and I quite liked it. So it's amazing how if you flavour your foods to make them taste nice, you know, they will, and then you get all the thing. Now, salmon, I love salmon. Now, I know that salmon is a good um, thing, and salmon has got omega-3 and fats and stuff like that. Um, it says here, if you're still... Uh, if you're still... Um, if you're still struggling with menstrual cramps, um, try adding salmon to your meals. Um... The benefits of salmon um, basically maintains your muscles and um, can, it can, well it says here it can stop your mood swings. Now I get very bad mood swings just to ask hubby. Um, the vitamins in it is vitamin D, it's got calcium, it's got vitamins, uh, it's got B6 in it, so uh, fatty acids. So yeah, again, I, I could probably have some salmon. It's making me crave salmon and broccoli and rice at the moment. <laughs> and then the next one is a no-brainer, water. Water helps detox everything, don't it? Um, our body is made up mostly of water. Um, so it does say stay hydrated. Um, water is essential for your body to function um, and it will help with bloating so if you've got a really bad bloat going on it will um, help you with that belly bloat um, so apart from that I've got no more food groups here to give you they have said if you don't like water um, you can infuse some water with some lemon or orange or something like that or mint or stuff like that but um I can actually drink water but the way I do it to get all my water in is I I drink it out of a wine glass <laughs> so yeah so there are the nine food groups that wellness care have um give on a blog I will we'll link the blog in my description box down below so um, if you want to look it up yourself you can or you, if you want to do more research you can and yeah just uh, if you enjoyed this film hit the subscribe button click the notification bell hit the like button and uh, I'll see you in another film shortly bye guys <laughs>